the man you're about to see can do all all that we are now thrilled to welcome in hello good evening ladies. this is your host clip brother host of clip house sports but coming to you live right here in leesburg virginia loudon county area and today ladies and i'll get you guys right the ravens have been down those pathetic and puny cowboys 34 to 17. i'll talk with you guys about the fact that um jalen hurts by the way by sunday i'll talk with you guys also about the, the fact that um MJ's Floridian Golf Course has a flying drone sending food and and booze. By the way, I'll give you guys that for sure. Team Shea Mitchell won the Cele- World Celebrity World Pro World Pong League title. Congrats to them on that. James Harden came back to training Rockets training camp, but he says he's open to a trade to the Sixers. I, I can get you guys into that for sure. Des Bryant's got COVID. The Michigan State versus I'm sorry, excuse me, not Michigan State, Michigan. Versus Ohio State rivalry game. That game has been canceled because of COVID issues that are surrounding Michigan. By the, by the way, I can tell you that much. And there's a, a six game rule that's likely to be changed. I can tell you what that is for sure. I'll also, talk with you guys about the fact that, um, let's see, a Division Two, a they upset Kansas State. Get you guys that for sure as well. Lewis Hamilton is feeling better after his COVID diagnosis, by the way. Goldberg says he's coming for Roman Reigns. I'll tell you about the. I'll tell you guys from um, Kenny Omega's first appearance on Impact Wrestling last night. I'll get you. I'll get definitely get you guys that for sure. The Maui Pro Tour is being canceled after somebody got after somebody got attacked by a shark. By the way, Nikita Mason apologized for immature content. Because he was accused of groping a woman, a 21 year old woman, by the way. Bruce Kepka and Jenna Sims were, were vacationing at Mexico, by the way. Get you guys that for sure. And that will be all the news I'll have for today, everybody. And also, Cyberpunk will be out tomorrow, tomorrow, by the way, and Game Awards are tomorrow night as well. So that's all the news I'll have for today, ladies and gents. First things first, ladies and gents, I will, I will kick things off with the fact that um, the Ravens are de- beating down those pretty little Cowboys, 34-17. You saw Lamar Jackson, who came out, of, who came out, came back from COVID, was 12-17, catches Jones, one interception, 13 carries, 94 rushing yards. Gus Edwards had seven carries, 101 rushing yards. J.K. Dobbins had 11 carries, 100 rushing yards. Mark Ingram had six carries, 26 rush, 28 rushing yards, one reception and a receiving yard. Marquise Brown had five receptions, 39 receiving yards. Mike Dalton was 20, 31 to 48 catches and attempts. Threw 285 passing yards, two touchdowns, one reception, and a sack, sack carry, and two rushing yards. Freaky Ziggy, Zeke Elliott had 18 carries, 77 rushing yards, four receptions, and 108 receiving yards. Tony Pollard had eight carries. 20 rushing yards, one reception, and 16 receiving yards. Amari Cooper had one carry, 10 rushing yards, five receptions, and 43 receiving yards. Michael Gallup has seven receptions, 86 receiving yards. C.D. Lamb has six receptions, 46 receiving yards. Dalton Schultz had four receptions and 44 receiving yards. And Noah Brown had three receptions and 40 receiving yards. And that those are your results from the Ravens defeating that being of those puny little Cowboys 34 17. And that's all there. So Lamar Jackson came back from this cold battle. And he says, and Lamar Jackson says his cold battle was pretty tough, by the way. So um, he came back from that. So that's all That's all there is for that, everybody. So the Ravens being down those puny little Cowboys, and the Cowboys are dumpster fighting with. That's all there is to it. My question is are the Ravens coming back? And can they really bounce back and get a playoff spot for sure? And are they even in the wild card hunt? And are they? I mean, they're in the hunt, though. By the way, but are they? But are, can they really come back? The Ravens—they've had numerous COVID cases. Now they may have come back from a loss against their rival, the Steelers. By the way, who who also had their first loss to Washington. By the way, another pathetic team. So, um, honestly, that's pretty much all there was for that. So, are the Ravens even coming back? And can they even bounce back and get to the playoff spot? Can they even make the playoffs for sure? So let me know in the comment section what your reaction, your thoughts are. I will be more than happy to just can Lamar Jackson even keep up this momentum and be able to, you know, at least help help his teammates 
get back to the playoffs because even though the Rams, they've had numerous COVID cases and Lamar Jackson even had COVID as well, but it came back from that last night. So that's good news. That's good news for him, by the way, and for the Ravens. So the Ravens are back. So the question is, are, are the Ravens going to be able to get their playoff spot back? Are they going to get to the playoffs? That's the real question you guys need to ask yourselves, everybody. And that's all there is I got to say for that. So Lamar Jackson, the Ravens, they may come back, though. But it's not gonna be that easy. So that's all. The, that's all there is. I mean, the Ravens they got their hands full of the Browns next week, so I wouldn't have just a response to that for sure. Everybody on that as well. So that's all I gotta say on that. So Ravens versus the Browns, they face up, face up against uh, face up against each other next week. Check out on that, and um, that's all there is for that. So the, are the Ravens gonna be able to beat the Browns, or can Baker Mayfield and the Browns be able to to destroy the Ravens for sure? Let me know in the comment section. I'll both have to just address a response to that. And that's all there's to can. I mean, are the Browns for real this time? Can they even get a playoff spot? They, I mean, they could get there. I mean, they, they're in the wild card spot, but can the Ravens even make a comeback to the playoffs? Let me, that's the real question you guys got to ask yourselves. And um, that's all there is for that. So let me know in the comment section for that album. We'll have to address the response to that. And that's all I got to say for that note, everybody. Also, some other interesting news here. And I, and the cat's out of the bag, folks. It, it was announced yesterday that Jalen Hurts. He's gonna be the starting court. He's gonna be starting quarterback for the Eagles when the Eagles take on the Saints. Let me tell you this right now. Jalen Hurts, with all due respect, I gotta say that Jalen Hurts outperforms, you know, um, Carson Wentz, despite Carson Wentz being terrible, by the way. I think it's safe to say that Carson uh, that uh, Jalen Hurts, by the way, perhaps helping the Eagles win games, perhaps having the biggest, I mean, perhaps having the maybe the biggest career NFL career of his season, and maybe this was worth it, though. Maybe this was worth the risk. I mean, he did good for Texas. I think he played good for Texas, A&M, that is. But I got to tell you right now, he's going to need that kind of momentum when he, faced, when he has his first game as starting quarterback. I mean, he did, came in. Carson was benched when, they, when, when the Eagles lost to the Packers, by the way. It, J- Jalen Hurts, by the way, he came he came in and probably wasn't enough. Real question we got to ask ourselves is, can Jalen Hurts help the Eagles find somehow, some way to, to destroy the Saints? Can Jalen Hurts, is Jalen Hurts in the MVP conversation right now? If he plays like one, that's the real question we need to ask ourselves here because I think it's interesting that Jalen Hurts, by the way, may in fact be, the, be in the MVP conversation because – he may be named starting quarterback, and I think it's to say that Doug Peterson made the right decision, putting Jalen Hurts in there, had to be the starting quarterback, and benched Carson Wentz. But if Jalen Hurts outperforms Carson Wentz and wins games, it was, it was like the last four games. This is this could tell you something right here, because even Jalen Hurts helps the Eagles, you know, potentially get back to the playoffs. I mean, they're they're, they're third place. But we all know that's not going to happen. So it's safe to say that Jalen Hurts, by the way, I mean, even, even if they do make the playoffs, by the way, by bouncing through, you know, G-Men and Washington and the Eagles, and if Jalen Hurts does help the does help the Eagles get back to the playoffs, won't be that easy for them. I can tell you that. Because, like it or not, this is Jalen Hurts' first game as starting quarterback. But make us think, make us think about it, though. Jalen Hurts going to disappoint. Because I think since Jalen Hurts, he can help turn the whole Eagles offense and defense around. I think that he's the guy that's gonna be, that's gonna have a lot of hype around him, though. That the Eagles fans are gonna are gonna want. I think that a lot of people are really interested in this. I think since since that Jalen Hurts is gonna be that kind of guy, and I I would consider him. I mean, would I consider Jalen Hurts as a legitimate threat in the NFC division? Because it wouldn't necessarily it wouldn't necessarily be worth something. But the Eagles, I mean, they're third place, and there's absolutely no way the Eagles are gonna are gonna win the NFC East. It's like this is not gonna happen. So I'm surprised that this ensued. I can tell you that because we all knew this is gonna ensue. I can tell you that right now. So if Eagle, if Jalen Hurts outperforms Carson Wentz by the way and if Carson I mean Carson Wentz is gonna get benched this is gonna cause this is this is gonna cause Car- Car- to leave the Eagles for good. He may be benched but have them leave the Eagles that's a different story right there. Because that's the real question we, that we need to ask ourselves here. Will Carson Wentz leave the Eagles for sure, get himself traded due to the fact that Jalen Hurts 
could possibly outperform him and even wins those next couple games, or next few games that is, at the very least, I think it would be said to say that Jalen Hurts, he's most certainly in the MVP conversation. If he plays like one, that is, that's good. But if it's a play like one, that's not going to look either. I can tell you that right now. So, I think it's, I think it's safe to say that Jalen Hurts, by the way, being starting quarterback for the Eagles, that's 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 a good option right there. That's the best move yet. But the G-Man right now, they're still um, they're still first place in the NFC East, and that's that's all I got to say for that note. So I think it's safe to say that um, that's all I got. That's that's all the risk. So Jalen Hurts being starting quarterback is the best. Best option right there. I can tell you that right now. So that's all that I got to say for that note right there. I can tell you that right now. So that's all the, That's all there is to it. So pretty much I would say that Jalen Hurts being starting quarterback for the Eagles is the best option I can think of. And anyway, if he plays like an MVP, plays like an MVP quarterback, and he most certainly fits in the MVP conversation, that's good. Because I think this is where the Eagles have to be. I think this is the this is kind of what the Eagles have to be. I think that Doug Peterson, well, maybe a, I mean, if, if, if Jalen Hurts does perform that way, if, it, if he looks terrible, Doug Peterson could be released. I can tell you that right now. But if Jalen Hurts does better, then Doug Peterson, well, probably could stay, maybe not, I guess. But clearly, I said to say, that you know, Jalen Hurts can help the whole can help the whole offense and defense of the Eagles turn around. That's what he could do. But is he gonna do so when he has his first game against the Saints? So let me know in the comments section what your what your thoughts of Jalen Hurts being starting quarterback for, for the next couple of games. Let me know for sure how you feel about this and uh, how how you how you guys want to view this one. So I'll just respond to let me know if you think that Jalen Hurts is the MVP comes. We've seen what he does in Texas A and M. We've seen that, but it's gonna bring that kind of performance. When it's the first game against the Saints. So, so let me know in the comments what you're actually thought about. And, and, and are the Eagles legitimate threat, by the way? You used to be good. They used to be former Super Bowl champs, but it won't get them anywhere. But Jalen Hurts being in the in the MVP conversation, that's that's the one we got to look out for. So, guys, stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned. So that's all you need to know for that. All you need to know. Also, let's just said, um, Team Shane Mitchell won the um, Celebrity World Pong League title. Congrats to them after they took out Team Post Malone. So congrats to Shay Mitchell and her partner on that. And that's all I got to say for that, everybody. So congrats to them for sure. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, that's what I want to get into, by the way. James Harden came back to training camp and he says that he's open to being traded to the Sixers. I mean, look, James Harden at first, he says that he that he's in pursuit of going to the Nets. The next thing you know it, pretty much says that he's open to be traded to the Sixers. So if you're a Sixers, if you're, if you're, I know Ben Simmons for sure. What are your reactions for sure? What do you, what do you think? So if James, if, so the Barry Terra and the MVP, James Harden goes to the um, Sixers, pretty much be huge right there. Could, could James Harden go to the Sixers and still go to the Nets? Question right there. I'll be right back, everybody. I'll be right back. So, right back, everybody. So, I'll come back. I'll come back. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Just little packages. So, James Harden, ladies and gents. Yeah, he may have been partying in Vegas for a little baby's birthday. And I could say this, that um, James Harden, by the way, ladies and gents, 
could in fact, I mean, the options are on the table for him. So clearly, this may surprise a lot of people, though. So James Harden does in fact consider either if it's going to be James Harden going to the to the Nets or him going to the Sixers. It sort of goes like this, you know. And James Harden takes pretty much the you know the black pill, I guess. He can go to the Nets, sign extension off with them. But if he ends up taking the blue pill, the red pill, white pill, he can go to the Sixers. That's kind of now I'm bringing it to the table, guys, because you got to realize that James Harden has not a zip, zero, zilch interest of staying with the, with the Rockets. I can tell you that right now. He may, he may have helped the Rockets get to the playoffs, I think it's safe to say that James Harden, well, he still wants out of the rugs. We all know that for sure. Real question, we need to ask us, because there's no way that the Rockets are going to keep James And he's not going to sign an extension. He's not going to do that. He may as well sign a new offer with another team of his choosing, whether it's going to be the Nets, or the Sixers. Either way, James Harden, you better pick your poison. Because wherever you go, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you go, James Harden, you better choose wisely. Whether you want to play, whether you want to play between the process Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons, or, or once we trade for him, or maybe you want to trade, you want to go in there, you want to pursue of going with Kyrie Irving and the Durant Durantula, KD, Kevin Durant. So, ladies and gents, please let me know exactly how you feel about this for sure. Do you think that James Harden is going to consider going to the Nets or going to the Sixers? So let, let me know. So let me know for sure. Let me know for sure, everybody, where, where James Harden is going to wind up at. So that's all there is for that. So that's all there is for, for that, everybody. And I think it's going to say that James Harden. I mean, James Harden, he, he, I mean, at first, he's in pursuit of going to the Nets. And the next thing you know it, he's in pursuit of going to the Sixers. So, so, so sort of like I pointed out just a moment ago, and James Harden takes the black pill, he can pretty much go to the Nets. But if he takes the blue pill, by the way, Sixers. It's just that simple because it's safe to say that James Harden doesn't have any interest in going, of staying with, the Net, with staying with the Rockets. I can tell you that right now. Russ Westbrook is going. He's with the Wiz now. James Harden's going to be next. Because I can tell you there's absolutely no way, no how, that James Harden is going to be able to – I mean, John Wall's with the with the Rockets too as well, and Boogie Cousins is there too. But I don't see, you know, James Harden staying with John Wall nor Boogie Cousins. I can tell you that right now because it wouldn't be like – I don't think it's fair though because I know John – I mean, how – is James Harden even staying with the Rockets? He may not consider doing so, but they got John Wall and Boogie Cousins. So I can't figure out exactly whether or not, if this is even right or not, I can't figure out exactly if this new big three, I mean, there's not going to be a big three with James Harden, Jay Wall, and because that, that's not going to sue me. It would be worth something, though, but that's not going to sue. But that, it's not going to sue. I, I just don't see it happening. James Harden, wherever he goes, by the way, if it's the big three with Kyrie Irving and the Durantula, like Kevin Durant with the Nets, that would be good. Be really, really good. I can say that. That would be really, really, really good. I can tell you that right now. So that would be pretty goodness right there. I mean, good goes to the next, but he didn't say about going to the next. I can tell you that right now. But if he does, in, but if he does consider going to the next, that's fine right there. But he didn't say about going to the next. His options are the Nets and, and the Sixers. 
So let me know exactly how, where James Harden's going to wind up. But I'll, I'll address this month that for sure, buddy. The options are on the table, guys. So vote. You can vote down below in the comment section where James Harden's going to wind up at. Is it going to be the Nets or the Sixers? So let me know in the comment section where you, where you think it's going to work. What's a good option for him? And that's all I got to say for that, everybody. So that's all there is you need to know. Also, ladies and gents, that the um, Michigan versus Ohio State game, that game has been canceled because of rapid COVID cases that are involved, that are happening, occurring in the um, Wolverines program for sure. Not looking good there. Now, there's a six, now there is a six-game slate, by the way. Now, Michigan, they need six games to be eligible to play in the Big Ten title tournament against Northwestern. So, then, so I think the Big Ten committee or the NCAA, they're not intending to change. I mean, they're intending to change that. But, you know, Michigan needs like six games to be eligible to um, – Compete in the Big Ten title tournament, by the way. I mean, they got a handful of North. I mean, I mean, next week they got Northwestern, by the way. But uh, I think it's safe to say that Michigan, the rivalry game is is going to suit. It's not 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 this week. No, the Michigan versus Ohio State game rivalry game was supposed to be suing by this week. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Jim Harbaugh, by the way, he says that he's in to stay with with the Michigan. By the way. And, and have an extension offer on his hands? I don't know about this one. Michigan Wolverines, they have not done so well. Michigan football, they have not done so well. I can tell you that right now. They have not done well. I can tell you that. So, not looking good for that. Not looking good there. So, clearly, it's not looking good, it's not looking good there. So, the Michigan versus Ohio State game isn't going to ensue. It's been canceled because of rabbit cove cases that are surrounding the Wolverines for sure, and it's not looking good. Now, Michigan needed six games to be in, eligible in the, in the um, Big East. I'm sorry, the Big Ten title tournament, by the way, and that is not looking good. They, they have to win Northwestern, so clearly it's not looking good there. I can tell you that right now. So, honestly, um, no surprise to anybody. So, I'm, I'm, I know a lot of people aren't thrilled about this at all, so that's that's all there is for that, everybody. And um, clearly, that's all I can say for that, everybody. All gets safe for sure on that, so. Not sure Jack should talk about that. That's all there is. And also, ladies and gentlemen, um, MJ's um, Floridian golf course, that's called the Grove XS III. By the way, it's in Hope Sound, Florida. It's got drones, flying drones, sending pe people or golfers food and booze, by the way. So, or the Grove, I'm sorry, the Grove. And hopes, yeah, the Grove XS III, by the way, and Hope South Florida. These flying drones, by the way, and Hope South Florida, they're sending people or golfers food and um, drinks or booze, by the way. So let me know what you let me know what your Rick, your thoughts about this. I mean, th I think this is really worth something, though. If I but if there was a go but there were drones that were sending if, if I was playing golf and there were drones sending me food and um, drinks, all that stuff, like. Cold beverages, non-alcoholic materials, or soda. I'd it'd be worth it. I mean, they would send snacks and they would send all sorts of stuff. It'd be it'd be really good. So, I think saying that would change. I, I think saying that would be pretty. That'd be pretty worth. It. I can tell you that right now. Because uh, I mean, it would be worth something though. But I think that would be worth something. I'll tell you that. So, pretty good news there. So, best news yet. I can tell you that. Best news yet. So, it's all there is for them. Also, I want to talk to you about the uh, men's college basketball games from yesterday. So, Division II college basketball team by the name of Fort Hay State, they upset Kansas State, defeating them 81-68. to That's a big upset right there. Iowa defeated UNC 93-80. Kansas defeats Creighton 73-72 by one point. Illinois defeats Duke 83-68. You saw Tennessee defeat Colorado 56-47. Penn State defeats Virginia Tech 75-55. Rutgers defeats Syracuse 79-69. And Ohio State took out Notre Dame 90-85. So that's all there is for that, everybody. So nothing more to it. I can tell you that much. So pretty much all I can say for that. And um, so you can tell that. Stay tuned for more college basketball games tonight as well. And that's all you got to know for now. Also, ladies and gents, that um, Anthony Romo jumps, 
Anthony Rumble Johnson is apart from the UFC. And he is signing with Bellator, by the way, in uh, 2021. And he's going to be going there as a light heavyweight in the first half of 2021 as well. So that's all there, that's all there is you need to know for sure on that. And um, they went for that. So Anthony Rumble Johnson, he's going to be going to uh, Bellator, by the way. He's going to sign in 2021. So that's pretty big news, big, pretty big news right there. So get Chris here for that, everybody. Get Chris here for that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, Another topic I want to get into. Lewis Hamilton's feeling feeling better after his COVID nineteen diagnosis. By the way, he's looking forward to get back in um, racing in Formula One racing. By the way, and hopefully he's a good, good spirit. So he beat COVID, so that's goodness for him. Hopefully he's going back to Formula One racing yet again. And that's all I can say for that. So other more to it I can say for that, everybody. So rest in peace. He's doing well. Also, I just said a um the Maui Pro Invitational. Yeah, the Maui Pro, I'm sorry, the Maui Pro Attorney, by the way, has been canceled after a surfer was attacked by a shark. And a man was hospitalized and needed surgery. This is almost something out of Jaws, by the way, everybody. Something out of Jaws. But um, clearly, yeah, not looking good there. Really not looking good there. So, my goodness, guys. So, watch out for sharks. If you, if you guys are surfing over on the beach, watch out for shark. Please watch out. So... That's all I'm going to say for that, everybody. So not looking good there. Hopefully the man gets well, wishes speedy recovery, and that's all I'm going to say for that. The, the, the surfer was not identified. I could say the surfer was not identified. If a name comes in, I'll let you guys know for sure who that is, and uh, that's all I'm going to say for that, everybody. So nothing more to I can say for that. That's all there is for that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, so another time I want to get into, by the way, that um, Nikita Maysman, the Formula 1 and Formula 2 racer, he is he was, he was apologized after he was being accused of groping a 21-year-old woman, by the way, when they were, when they were, when him and the twenty-one-year-old woman were driving together, now I'll tell you this that um, they tell you this that the the um, Nikita Maspin he was accused of this, and the fact is that he was groping a twenty-one-year-old woman without the woman's consent, and it's possible that the, that Nikita Maspin can be suspended, fined, and kicked out. For this and how's racing, they're not having this at all. I'll tell you that right now. His racing crew is his racing crew or racing squad is not having this at all. They're not they don't condone this. And they could face some suspension, fine, disciplinary action, and it could be kicked out of Formula One forever. I can tell you that right now. So and the 21 year old woman gave Nikita Maceman the middle finger. And honestly, this 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 is a bad look for him. I think that Nikita Maceman should know better. He needs to. He needs to do better. And he did apologize for sure for that. And honestly, that he can be kicked out, released from Formula One or Formula Two racing, suspended, fine, face this disciplinary action, and that's all there is for that, everybody. So, no. The, yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, good, good. No, yes. No, no, no season at all whatsoever. I get no season whatsoever, Isan. I did. Um, I did get the refill for I think for carbon thing for carbon truck, by the way yesterday. So I, I got I got the prescription for that. So, so, yeah, pretty much yes. Like 215 pounds, I guess that is. Yes, yes. I should make refills, but I'll, but I'll, yeah. I'll get some extra refills, so yes. I'm not out, though. I'm not out. Though. I'm not out of refill. Let me, ch- let me check. Hang on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, you son. I'll be right back. I thought you said I'm back. I'm good. Yeah. I have I have five refills on the um Capra pills. And I got um 
Five rate fails on the um, carpet chop hills. Yeah, it should be. It should be okay for now. Excuse me. All right, but yeah, all right. I'll get yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, excuse me. Yes. Thank you. But I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. I, I'll be. I'll appreciate the refills. Thank you, Dr. the son. Yes. Wait, you say there's a December appointment? Wait, 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 I think the last, I think the last, um, tough one interview, telephone call, you say there's a, there was a, there was a, um, appointment that I had? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Was it today or? Oh, thank you. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, hold on. I made, yeah, I'll get. I'll get I'll get I'll get refills. Yes, yes, but I let the front. I'm not I'm not but I'm not I'm not low though so. But you can film but you but but you can film up if you want that is so I mean pharmacy can film up. All right, all right, all right. I said the five refills though, but um, I should get some extras for sure. But I, but yes, yes. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna consider refills anyway. You know what? You know. Uh, okay, but I'll, I'll. But you know what? I'm gonna consider. Re I'm, gonna, I'm gonna consider refills anyway. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I, I just said I'm gonna. Cause I changed my mind. I'll consider refills anyway. Just in case, if I, in case if I run out, that is. Yes. Okay. I just. Okay. All right. All right. I I I I did read them though. By the way. Okay, all right. So much, so much. So it was a, wait, was it March 9th, You said. Okay, thank you. V yeah, virtual, virtual, virtually. Okay, thank you, Doctor Reeson. Refills. Refills. Okay. Take care, son. Have a good, happy New Year. Yeah, how's it? Yeah, so. Okay, guys. Sorry again. I was in the middle of um making an important phone call with making an important phone call with my um with my um my doctor. By the way, because you know, just just some um you know, just in case I need some refills. My next appointment, you know. So I do apologize yet again, everybody. So as I was, as I, all right. So basically, sorry about that, guys. Just a little prior phone call I was taking, and um, you know, that's all. I know my next appointment's on March, so that's all I got to say for that. All right, back to some sports content. I want, I want to get to my, get to, get into. By the way, that um, what was that? Nikita Mayspin should be suspended, fined, released, and and he could face some charges for sure. I can tell you that. So that's all I can say for that. He did apologize for sure, but he could be kicked out of Formula One racing forever. So that's all I can say for that, though. So. He made himself look. He made himself look a piece of trash, and that's all I got to say for that. So, not look good for him. Not looking good for him. I can tell you that. Also, it's just that uh, Bruce Kempka and Jenna Sims they were vacationing at a um, Mex at Mexico, by the way. So, and then you saw Jenna Sims have a feeling, feeling um Brooks Kempka grace, by the way, on their vacay, and um, pretty much they were on the Mexican beach. Jenna's birthday is on December thirtieth, by the way. In case you guys are wondering, so, so I do it before, so. 
Congrats on that, and that's all I can say for that, everybody. It's all there is. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I want to get down to, by the way, Goldberg. 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 Goldberg says Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, the head of the table, is next. And it could be once again coming for that universal title, too. I can tell you that. So Goldberg versus Roman Reigns. That will shatter social media by storm. I'll tell you that right now. But Goldberg versus Roman Reigns, if that happens, I'll, that happens in 2021, I'll be so surprised. I will. But Goldberg, he says the bump. He's coming for Roman Reigns. Tribal Chief, two-time universal champ, head of the table. Goldberg is coming for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has used Goldberg's spear. For decades. But Goldberg, by the way, coming in, you know, saying he wants he that he's that's Roman Reigns is next. I like it. I really like it. I'll tell you that right now. I really like it. It's like spear versus spear. The best thing you want to see Goldberg facing Roman Reigns for the universe title in 2021. That, ladies and gentlemen, will be music to my ears. If this happens in 2021 or the start of 2021, I'll be so surprised. My vote for this one will be Goldberg, 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 Goldberg to once again walk out as Universal Champ. So, best news for that, everybody. That's the best thing that's ever happened. I will say this is must that we must see, must watch. The Romans was supposed to face Goldberg, by the way, your title. But um didn't happen there. I mean Goldberg I mean Goldberg, I mean Goldberg was the universal champ, by the way. But Roman Reigns, he backed out for sure. Because he had some issues he had to take care of and all. But Roman, but it was Braun Strowman who replaced Roman Reigns, and that Braun Strowman beat Goldberg for his title. So I think that the so I think that the match that people have been pleading for, Spear versus Spear, Goldberg versus Roman Reigns for the for the Universal Title will be absolutely epic, absolutely epic, jaw dropping, rim shattering, mouth watering, eyeball popping, mouth watering, eye. Slam dunking, rim shattering, backboard breaking, three point shooting moment. All the fans watching at home, watching all over the world, watching over the country, watching over the globe, and on social media and on digital platforms are, are accustomed to see. Absolutely accustomed to see. I'll say that right now. I'm just looking forward to that. I'm definitely looking forward to this match. I hope it happens. I honestly hope this happens. So you got Roman Reigns still the Universal Champion. Help try to travel champion at the table. What you got? Roman Reigns is going to have his hands full TLC against KO Kevin Owens. For the Universal title. You can catch that live on the WWE Network, by the way. So Goldberg wants Roman Reigns. That will be the best, best match of the century. All the fans, all viewers, all subscribers. Subscribers are accustomed to seeing that. I'll tell you that right now. Must see, must watch, and it won't disappoint. Not a minute, not a chance. I'll tell you right now, it can be. It be, it's worth the wait. You can say whatever you want, everybody. This can be. People can say this crazy, crazy argues match, greatest match in history. Go over versus Roman Reigns will be history in the making. I mean, it's. it's I mean, it'll be something that all the fans will want to see. I'll tell you that right now. That'll be a match made in heaven, which it is. I'll tell you right now. That's what faced each other this past year. That didn't ensue. So Roman Reigns versus Goldberg for 2021. That's going to ensue. I can tell you right now. So if it ensues in any pay-per-view, well, not TLC, but that's in 2021, I'll be most surprised. I will say that right now. It'll be must-see, must-watch. All the fans... At home on the country on the globe, want to see it. I know I would, but it'll be worth the wait. I'll say that right now. So, folks, stay tuned, everybody. Stay tuned.
Also, another thing I want to point out, by the way, Kenny Omega, you know, he appeared on Impact Wrestling for the first time ever last night as the new AEW champ. And I'll tell you this, he had a lot to comment on. He, had, he said a whole lot. Former IWGP champ, former IWGP tag team champ, former AW tag team champ as well. But I'll tell you this. I got to say, he indeed, he most certainly is indeed worth, worth something. I'll tell you that right now. Him going to Impact Wrestling last night, that shattered social media by surprise. And you can say whatever you want. This is the first show that AEW landed on Impact Wrestling. And then you might see Impact Wrestling stars probably by tonight make appearances on AEW as well. And who knows who's going to show up? Who knows who's going to show up? Kenny Omega, he's going to be there. He's coming back to AEW by tonight, by the way. You'll have to hear what he has to say. I'll tell you right now, you'll, you, you'll want to hear what he has to say. Because, I mean, Kenny Omega, him walking as the AEW champ, by the way, him getting to where he's at, I mean, this is where Kenny Omega has to be. Kenny Omega, ladies and gents, he is must-see. He is must-watch. He makes matches happen. I mean, he had he faced y j Chris Jericho at Wrestle Kingdom, uh, I think a year ago, that is, I remember, if I remember correctly. Pretty good match, I can tell you that. And he faced him at AEW, by the way. That was pretty good news right there, the best news yet. So that's the best news, I can tell you that right now. So, but having Kenny Omega appear on Impact Wrestling as the new AEW champ, this is starting something special. I'll tell you that right now, because you may see a series of matches of Impact versus AEW starts competing. This has been talked about for months now, because Kenny Omega, he, I mean, he, he also said this. He said he can go to any title or any other title on Impact Wrestling turf. My goodness, I got to tell you, if Kenny Omega had to face Rich Swan, I mean, Rich Swan's got a handful of Chris Bay at Turning Point, but if it came down to Kenny Omega against Rich Swan, by the way, at Hard to Kill Pay-Per-View, oh my goodness. My question is that people are going to ask, could both titles be on the line? I mean, that's, I mean, could Kenny Omega go out to the Impact title? I, I mean, I, look, as much as I would love to see that, though, Kenny Omega, I mean, if Kenny Omega even faces Rich Swan, who's still the who's still the Impact World Champ, Kenny Omega, ladies and gents, would have his hands full for sure. I'll tell you that right now. And Kenny Omega... Really, he wants to be. I mean, he's like the he's like the collector, like almost like Thanos almost. But my goodness, I gotta say this right now: if Kenny Omega went after the Impact title, I mean, whether it's gonna be next week. But my goodness, I gotta say it right now: Kenny Omega, ladies and gents, would definitely. I mean, Kenny Omega, he would definitely go after that Impact title. And if he excuse me, pretty much goes after that title, I mean, and it could be maybe at um hard to kill pay per view. You that could be must see, must watch. I'll tell you right now, if Kenny Omega walks out as a double as the undisputed champ, him being both still the AEW champ and him being the new Impact champ, that would say a lot. Because this broke the glass. I mean, Kenny Omega appearing in AEW, I'm sorry, appearing in Impact Wrestling, that literally shattered the pro wrestling industry by surprise. And I can tell you this, that Kenny Omega, he does whatever he wants. He is one of, those dec- he is one of the most decorated pro wrestling talents in history. He is a future pro, res- pro wrestling Hall of Famer. But I got to say right now, Kenny Omega getting to where he's at, 
My goodness. But Kenny Omega, ladies and gents, I mean, he, he may appear on Impact Wrestling yet again next week. I don't know for sure he's going to be there next week. I don't know for sure. I mean, th- and there could be some other AEW stars appearing on Impact as well. And you may see some Impact stars, current Impact stars, coming to a appearing on AEW. That could unfold tonight. But oh my god, oh my goodness. Kenny Omega appearing on AEW, uh, Impact Wrestling, that, that was huge. I'll tell you that. And him going after that um, Impact title. Oh my, oh, my goodness. That would absolutely be huge. Absolutely huge. I mean, if it happens at turning point, I mean, you may see some Impact versus um, AEW stars compete against each other in a series of matches like ne- ne- next week or in, t- or in 2021. And you may see them perhaps at hard to kill. You may see these AEW stars and Impact stars face each other at hard to kill. And there could be, and, and I mean, I'm not sure. You, I'm not sure. Maybe you want to see, you know, maybe Ty, I mean, all times can be line. I mean, all times can be line for sure. I'll tell you that hard to kill. You may as well pretty much see, you know, most of the machine guns taking on, oh, the Young Bucks. Remember Young Bucks? They took on, they took on, they used to be Generation Me on Impact Wrestling, though. They took on mostly machine guns. Young Bucks used to be known as Generation Me on Impact Wrestling a couple years ago. But if they had to face each other at, at Hard to Kill pay per view, oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my. Young Bucks versus mostly machine guns. At hard to get pay per view, that would be worth the wait, and, and that that could be all times in line. That could be like winner take all. You can say whatever you want, but it would be must see, must watch. I'll say it right right now, it'd be must see. So that would be the biggest match of his career. That would be the biggest matches of their career. I tell you, that, and they faced each other in the past. They faced each other yet again, hard to kill. It would win a non title match or probably all times on the line, but it'll be must see. I'll tell you that right now. It'll be pretty good. You may as well pretty much see the knockout chef Deion Perrazzo taking on Hikaru Shida as well. You can see Jordan Grace taking on Nala Rose. You can pretty much see perhaps the Y2J taking on, well, Moose, I guess. You can pretty much see um you know. Let's see. Having an Avea face up against any AW talent, by the way, in the women's roster. That'll be huge, Joe. That'll be really huge. Top of that, Kenny Omega, the AW champ, taking on Rich Swan. Where winner take all, all titles on the line, and it could happen at Hard to Kill pay per view in 2021. Make no mistake about that, everybody. So, folks, you can say whatever you want, but Impact versus AEW, this is going to change and shatter the entire landscape of, of the pro wrestling industry forever. I'll tell you that right now. So, folks, say whatever you want, but I'll tell you this that Kenny Omega, man. That's huge, and it could be, and it could be, and it's going to be some absolutely a set of matches that could ensue in the next couple of weeks or in twenty twenty one. So, you can sort of whatever you want, guys. That's going to be huge. I mean, I'm on Kenny Omega's side right here. So, I mean, double champ, yeah, double champ. So, I can say this I mean, there will be a set of matches a lot of people want to see. So, folks, you can say whatever you want, 
but I gotta tell you, Kenny Omega was the best. Him being on Impact Wrestling for the first time ever. That's his first appearance on Impact Wrestling last night. So I don't know if he's gonna appear. I'm not sure if he's gonna appear next week. So you, folks, stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to that. So that's pretty good news right there. I'm looking forward, but I'm also looking forward to the fall from NXT. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to a fall, to War Game. I'm looking forward to um the fall from War Games. You catch that tonight on NXT. Live on the USA Network, by the way, as well, everybody. So check that out. And that's all I can say for that, everybody. So stay tuned for that. Also, I, just, I, I want to wish that birthdays out to um, Michaela Maroney, Cannabis, Dick Butkus, Kelly Uber, Jr., who got engaged to his, to his girlfriend, the Olympic gold medalist who broke his neck, Kurt Angle, who, and also former W Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle, Judy Dench, Booba, Mark Mc, McMorris, Paola, Zarita, Lori Griner, Country Wayne, Donnie Osman, PMB Rock, David Akers, Michael Dorn, Joe Londo, Rako, Aylesworth, Eric Bledsoe, Rise Webb, Michaela Skinner, L. Evans, Ashley Brewer, John Call, Aaron Baines, Ailey McQueen, Dia, Mirza, Jim Finn, Tara Perry, Allison Smith, Russell Orhe, Louisa Bradshaw White, Langston Galloway, Brian Pruett, Daenerys Moore, Ryan Grant, Louise Cliff, Jill Henderson Jr., Marty Fish, Quadwo, Asamoah, Bruley, Evans, Joey Beltron, Danica Daisy, Kevin Daniels, Kyle Connor, Priya Gill, Cody Kennedy, Judah Ju Joe, Judah, Judah Joe, Judy Jew, Vesepia Towery, Dalen McCutcheon, McCutcheon, Regina Kana. Leslie Carrera Rudolph. So, ladies and gentlemen, send your birthday wishes, your brother shelter, brother tweets, everybody. That's all, that's all you guys had to do just right now, and that's all there is. So, send your brother wishes, your brother shelter, brother tweets. And that's all I'm going to say for that, everybody. So that's all there is you need to know. So, nothing more to it for that, everybody. Nothing more to that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to catch um, the Game Awards tomorrow night as well. Be sure to catch that. And, and it's going to be some big reveals tomorrow night, guys. So, be sure to catch the Game Awards tomorrow night, everybody. Catch on the YouTube channel. Catch on the Instagram, Twitter. Best news yet. Be sure to catch that. The game Wars are exciting. Must see a lot of big reveals, so guys. So check that out. Tomorrow night, guys. Tomorrow night. Also, ladies and gentlemen, that, um, me, Cyberpunk 2077 will be out tomorrow, by the way, everybody. Pure or now, last day is tomorrow. Last day is t t today. Before it's, skip, before it's re tomorrow's release, everybody. So, ladies and gents. Cyberpunk 2077 will be out tomorrow, by the way. Catch on Xbox One, Xbox Series X, S. Catch on PS4, PS5. Or even Nintendo as well. Those are very scrutiny. So, I actually, um, you know, be sure to catch Cyberpunk 2077. Be sure to get the game by early, by pre order right now, guys. The game will be out tomorrow, by the way, guys. Everybody, so. Check that out, guys, and that's all you guys you need to know just for now. So, there's nothing more to it I can say on that. I know there's nothing more to that I can say. So, that's all there is you need to know, everybody. That's all there is you need to know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it right there for the Clothes Have a Sports Board. Like, subscribe to the Clothes Have a Sports Board YouTube channel, Facebook page by any and all means. That's all right. Be sure you send me your comments, your tweets, your reaction, your thoughts on the Ravens defeating those pathetic little Cowboys 34 17. Let me know in the comments what your reaction, thoughts about that are. I'll just respond to that for sure. What are your thoughts exactly on Kenny Omega appearing on Impact Wrestling? Last night as well. You think it's going to come back next week? Let me know for sure in the comment section. I'll address sponsor that for sure. Everybody on that as well. And that's all I can say for that. You think that Kenny Omega is going to get to the to the Impact Champ, by the way, and have a title versus a title for title match at Hard to Kill against Rich Swan? So let me know in the comment section what your reaction thoughts on. Let me know if you think, you think it's going to happen. Let me also know if you, think, you guys want to see some Impact versus AW matchups as well. So let me know for sure. Let me know if you guys. Are gonna, let me know if you guys think that some impact stars are going to appear on AEW for sure tonight. Let me know that for sure. I'll address the sponsor that for sure, but on that as well. And that's all I'm going to say for that. What are your thoughts on Goldberg saying that Roman Reigns is next? 
let me know for sure in the comment section. You think you guys you think you guys think this can be the match of the century? Let me know for sure in the comment section. I'll address sponsor for sure, everybody as well. Be sure to send your brother wishes out to um Kurt Angle, Michaela Maroney, Cannabis, Dick Butkus, Kelly Oubre Jr., Judy Dench, Ailey McQueen, Dia Mirza, Vesepia Tauri, Regina Kana, Joy Beltron, Luis Cliff, Ryan Grant, Daenerys Moore, Brian Pruett, Allison Smith, Sonya Brother, Wishes Brother, Shelter Brother, Tweets, Double and Comstance. That's all you guys got to do, everybody, on that as well. Wish, uh, also, one more seven bladed birthday to PlayStation, by the way. But so send your brother wishes out to that as well. And that's all you guys gonna do, everybody, on that as well. I know just for now. Also, on Legends, be, be sure to send your thoughts and prayers out to the surfer who was attacked by a shark that led to the cancellation of the Maui, Maui Pro um, tourney being canceled. By the way, let me know by the comment section. Send your thoughts and prayers out to that surfer as well. Wish me to cover it as well. As well. Wait, that's on the Michigan versus Ohio State rivalry game being canceled due to COVID cases that are surrounding Michigan Wolverines right now for sure, everybody. And six game, um, and Michigan needs six games to be eligible to compete in the um, Big Ten title tournament. By the way, everybody gets to know the Western. So, what thoughts about that? I'll just respond to this. So, what are your thoughts on Jalen Hurts being named starting quarterback for the? And we all know that we all know it's going to ensue, everybody. What are your thoughts on Jalen Hurts being named starting quarterback for the Eagles? By the way, and as they take on the Saints by Sunday. Let me know in the comments. What are your reaction your thoughts about that? Are you thinking that Jalen Hurts is in, the, is in the MVP conversation? I would just want to say for sure about on that as well. That's all you guys need to know just for now. And that's all I got to say just for now on that, everybody. All there is for that. So best news yet. Game War is tomorrow night as well. Cyberpunk 2077. That's That'll be out tomorrow, by the way, as well, everybody. Also, um, that's what James Harden is saying, that he wants to be open to the open to a trade to the – to the Sixers or Rocket, Sixers or the uh, Nets. Let me know where we let me know where we think James Harden's gonna wind up. Is it gonna be this the Nets or the Sixers? Let me know in the comments where he's where he's, he's gonna wind up at. I'll be willing to have to address the sponsor to everybody on that as well. And that's all there is to you need to know just for now. That's all there is like I say. I'll be on my breaking news sometimes live with some of and much, much more in the close of the sports board. Everything sports landed, everything you need to know. That's that's all I gotta say. Everybody take care, everybody. You guys have a good evening. Please be safe with everybody. Bye bye.